But yeah, so I hope y'all enjoyed the episode. I hope I wrapped some things up. I hope you got the the conscious roller coaster of me just breaking certain things down and basically letting you know why I say I'm not black, why I say I'm not a human, but I understand the concept that we we seem to really connect on struggle. That's the thing we like to connect on pain. So the reason I can see someone that we call black and say that's my brother and feel where he's coming from because I understand that he probably was judged simply off the way he looks based on someone manipulating masses of the masses and a certain group or a whole bunch of people to believe this is what they are. And they've been so manipulated to believe that what they what they see or hear is true. Instead of thinking for themselves, you understand that's why you're being judged. And then I can relate to him on that because I felt that pain. I didn't get beat up by the police as a kid multiple times. So I get that. So I get if I say I'm not black, how somebody, you know, like they black and they proud. I can see how they may feel offended. Like, what? You're not black. You're not one of us. You don't understand. You're going through the same struggle. I 100% understand. What I'm saying is I understand also why it's happening. I just don't know who's doing it. But maybe if I can get enough people to understand why it's happening, they'll stop doing it. So the ones that are actually doing it will stand out. Because when you acting just like the person that's there to hurt you, how could I tell the difference? That's why I don't like lying too, but because you can lie with your actions. So anyway, so I get the struggle from it and I get the pain from it because I share that with you. I just don't limit myself to this word of just being a color or the disrespectful word to relegate me to a continent. And I'm the only one that's like that. I'm just saying I'm more than that. And I tell you, you are God because I'm telling you. You are too. And if we want a word to relate on our experience, share our pain, but how about we also share our joy, which we do? You see how we give y'all culture and stuff like that? And we connect on that. I'm just trying to make that the majority connection. And if we need a word to express that connection, let's come up with one of our own. Instead of just the one they use to defame us. Now, I ain't got no problem with the word nigga at all. I love it. I think it's great. It's a great word. Because it just completes so many sentences. Like, nigga, please. Like, it didn't even complete it. It started. that My first sentence was started by. And that pussy ass nigga. Fuck you talking about? Don't they hit different? Man, that pussy ass person. That don't, that don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't curse a lot, but I do curse. <laughs> but I don't like though. Like, man, that pussy ass guy. Like it don't it don't it don't ah, it don't hit like it need to. It don't hit like it need to. That nigga word, the remix of nigger. <laughs> the remix we make the remix. That's what we do. We make the remix. So we remixed y'all word, right? And repurposed it. But it's basically like a Kanye West beat. It's still a sample. I'm like, let's make up an original beat. And then, like, granted, Kanye West makes some great beats. So we made a great word. That's what I'm saying. I fucks with nigga. Like, that shit hit. It hit in places that nothing else hit like that. Like, man, you be like, I can't believe this. If you had one word to say right there. <laughs> if you had one word to say, are you going to say A, person, B, guy, C, oh wait, hold on. If I say person for guy, I gotta say guy or gal. C, this entity. D, this child of God. <laughs> or E, this nigga. <laughs> Which one you choosing? Y'all know y'all all throwing up E's right now. I know you throwing up, I'm throwing it up too, get that? Cause nigga just go right there. And I get, where it's remixed from. And I get why motherfuckers feel like, man, they, they can't say it. And I and I understand that. That was fucked up. <laughs> I'm with you. I get it. That's fucked up. But let me tell you something. 
just like how they can take your culture and run with it, but don't want to be a part of it. <laughs> they want it. They want it. They want to get it, but they don't want. They don't want it with you. They they want it, but they don't want you. So I get that. It's some people like that. But you don't think you're doing the same. Like, we did that with this word. We put that same vibration in this word. We just made a thing that just hit different. Like, white people don't even. Like, when they call us, they don't even call us they word. Like, the racist word of nigger, like, that racist word, when people say it. I think they only say it with the ER in the movies to try to make emphasis. Like, you nigger. Like, they make emphasis to make you see, like, oh, this word is ho- so horrible. And I get it. I get it. But I think I hear white people when they curse. They be like, nigga, <laughs> nigga. And then I think because they, again, like I say, humans learning themselves from the world. So they see it on TV. So now white people thinking, like, oh, that's how we supposed to see it to get to them. <laughs> Because when you see the videos, <laughs> and I've seen some videos, <laughs> when the motherfuckers go off, they be nigga this, nigga that, nigga this. They don't even say they word. You know you made a good word. We remixed. Look, I don't know who came up and said, we're going to say it like this, though. <laughs> he need, like, a museum or something. Make make that. Make that for homie that came up with that. Because that's fire. Because whoever remixed nigga and made it nigga, they did something. Like, it's, it's surviving. They need a day. We put this in songs. Certain people lose their job for it. Think how good a word have to be that a motherfucker lose their job to say it. That's tough. That's that's tough. But I think they say that word. <laughs> but, yeah, we just we just some amazing. And I just want you to see it. Let me get my ass out of here because I've been talking for an extra long time. Because I went from not being under the influence to under the influence. So I'm going to try to stop this, save it and edit it or something because I probably had a lot of blank spots where I wasn't talking. I probably got up and did something. <laughs> yeah, just know you something valuable so I'm not human. I'm me. I'm cute. The host of your show. So just remember, what they call pure is tampered with. The cure can't answer it. You're lost in a world looking for answers that's answerless. This has been my podcast. I'm your host, Q. Just remember the name of the show. There is power in the question. Information is information. Finna show, finna change y'all. Spoon clear long enough, now it's game on. Flame on, Johnny Strong with his name Tom. Stay calm, yeah, strong, but it ain't on. Excuse me, but there's power in the question. You'll see that the power's in your essence. Confuse me, but I found it impressive. I constantly respond and found a reflection. Mm. It's also reflective. Now tell me what is info. Disregard, you don't know what your info. Start saying you a god playing limbo. That shit, hey, yeah, it odds that you can't vote. Telling me it came from God because I'm man wrote. Forgive me, but it's hard to compress all this knowledge itself and astonish an impulse. The invoke, I'm a god that's within quotes. I've been dope and my conscience a big hope. Accuse me if you think that I'm wrong when I speak with my balls, but this hit show.